everything is playable on this map. Mm -hmm. What I like personally is that this is like not a, a surely map that's only for calf or only for mini. You see a lot of mixed teams in there, like a few calves, a lot of mini pushes going down, shields. Um, therefore, can't really predict what each team is going mm -hmm. to play. But yep. with Falconetti and Sifonaris out, two very strong units on this map are missing. So you have to save. Yep, exactly. And as having said that, we're into the match lobby. Uh, let's see what units and heroes they get to pick. Um, it's Slav versus Blade Malias, round five, game one. Slav is on the attack and Blade Malias on the defense. Um, let's go over the heroes first. We can see a lot of poetics actually on the Slav side. This is uh, quite a lot. And also a few short swords, they're quite strong on that. Just one yeah. long sword and a dual blade. And a lot the... of polys, a lot of heavy classes. Yeah, absolutely, a lot of heavy classes. And on the opposite side with Blame Allies, we're seeing way more pikes and also a spear, even in Glaive. So uh, a bit more of a mix, I guess, on the Blame Allies side. What what I'm just wondering is, is with the unit setup mm -hmm. um, with Blame Allies, I see a lot of calf for this map. Yeah, yeah, we're seeing um, a lot of calf for sure. Yeah. Maybe they're trying to, to do a sneak attack, take a sneak approach. Mm -hmm. we have, we'll see. Um, yeah. And on the other hand, on the, the side of Love's, we see a lot of pikes and shenges, ranged units. Yep. Um, yeah, very different approaches, I must say. Uh, you can see on Blame Allies, they are very skirmish heavy. A lot of gray hairs, uh, heavy shields, uh, iron reapers, and, and a calf, as you said. And looks like Slavs are going more for the ranged approach. Uh, a lot of pike modal here, as we can see with the starting setup. Some berserkers, um, and especially a lot of shenji and, ter and, uh, and tertios even. So interesting uh, to see that already. There's definitely a big difference between the attack and the defense uh, setup right now. All right, this is Dasu of Ford, guys. Welcome to the map. Let's take a quick overlook and see how these teams are going to approach the map. All right. Ghost, are you inside the, uh, the game as well, by the way? I'm oh, outside. Oh, look at this. Lame oh, Elias what going we're seeing outside. there. Lame Elias is doing the sally out immediately. They're trying to avoid the trap. Yep. Hopefully they can get as much calf outside before the trap's hitting. Yeah, and they, they split. They don't rush immediately to supply. They're going to flank the units of Slavs. Exactly. Yeah, they're going to the sides, but they are blocking the supply, not allowing Slavs to like switch any units. Slavs it do seems have so many anti calf though, so they might be good. Uh, I'll be focusing on the right. You take the left. Let's see what yeah. happens. On the left side, they're going very deep in the ter ter territory of Slavs, like they try to go from behind. A sneak attack, but Slavs already watching them. Yeah, on the right side, the tower is totally clear. There's nothing pushing it anymore. And the Blame Lies are going to and use the artillery, dead. actually. Yeah, nice. Look at this. It looks like Blame Lies are going to attack the city. <laughs> the traps are flying in, but they are using the artillery in the back of the Slavs, guys. Um, still going around and around with a cat, but not really uh, going anywhere with the fight really they're just using our yeah rate. they're not going into they see that they have a lot of anti calf for slavs and they're trying maybe they're trying to delay them yep. push the towers exactly slavs are oh, actually no. closing the gate now so that is really interesting the calf from blame lies and from alias is actually getting killed now as they are slavs are trying to push at least one tower they're doing a really good job i think in defending that one uh, blame Elias is getting called at the at the main gate yep. let's look at this fight Oh, this trap hurts. Oh, yes. Problem lies. A nice they try to get out sure. with claimers. They try to get out with claimers against the pikes. Yep, pike advance. Unfortunately, going. The is fighting back though. Two, two pike advance, two modal units yep. are too strong against one claimer unit. Exactly right. We can see the calf finally coming in for Blame Elias. Big calf charge there. A lot of heroes going back and forth. Slavs is actually dropping quite a bit, but I think that the unit. They got is also quite big as they were defending the gate quite heavily. They're they defended the, really well. the one tower pretty good. Yeah. They're trying to block off Elias completely uh, from getting to the tower, and it's getting pretty close for the A point. Absolutely. Uh, Blame Elias are closing the gate. They have had enough from this. Um, I think that this is at least a win for Slavs actually managing to get the tower there and staying composed. Blame Elias clearly having prepped this, so. Impressive from Slavs to react to it this quickly. I wonder what the reaction will be after the game, but uh, let's unit, see what's going to happen. Unit-wise, yeah. unit wise, they're pretty close to each other. Slavs with 270 units lost and Blame Lies with 165. Um, they're slight ahead on the unit count still with 845 mm -hmm. allies and Slavs with 807 left. 
Yep. So let's see what they bring out with the second. Yeah, no. exactly. Meanwhile, Lane Lai is picking up a few guys with the mouse, but uh, stops quickly there to help their teammates and uh, getting back at them. Looks like Lane Malai is trying to rotate to the A point. They might defend it. I wonder if they will. There are still a few guys back at the supply as well, so they might have to be quick. Traps flying in. Um, something that I noticed yeah. as well about the units, as we have, might have some few seconds, is that the Shenji were all alive. They lost just a couple of them. So the Shenji from Slash. Oh, Elias, Elias gets hunted on the left side, yep. on the bigger tower. Yep. Get Elias hunted by four heroes. Yep, for sure. That's not good to stay alone from the rest of the team, because yeah, you only have three lives. Exactly. Meanwhile, uh, Slavs have to go and push in on the A point. They're using the traps preemptively, trying to get them. Uh, there is some gunner shooting at the back from uh, Lame Elias. Um, but Lame Elias, are they going to defend the A point here? That's yes, but he has to be careful, he's already on two deaths. Mm -hmm. The next one will be his final. Yeah, exactly. And this is the thing, we know Le Melias is a very aggressive team, but they, they need to think about the deaths, as you said. Alright, look at this. Uh, Slavs going forward, they're on the point. Can Le Melias uh, actually fight this, is the question here. Nice shoots of the smoke, oh. and Le Melias yep. trying to go on the back here with the, what is it, with the Berserkers, with the shine, everything that they get they've got. Trap is flying in, that is missing. I think the Slav's frontline is slowly losing, but the backline is winning for them. But more allies are coming in from the left. Look at this. They, they're squeezing Slav's slightly, slowly down from the A point again. And another trap for Slav's. Hopefully it's missing. Oh no, directly in the palace cards. Yep. That looks, will hurt. Yeah, absolutely. Slav's had a pretty good, good stronghold there. They've been capping A almost fully, but Blame Allies finally managed to get one on the left jump. side. And they're clearing them all of the wall right there. Five minutes left on the clock, and this is a big win for Blame Elias. We're now then for 11 deaths for Slavs and 8 deaths for Elias. Yep. Currently. Okay. Also on the side, um, Slavs has to watch out for two players Koaku with two deaths, Galahad with two deaths, oh no, even three, and Butados also with two deaths. Yep, exactly right. Blood Story also on two deaths, and uh, like you said, Elias is also on two deaths. Yeah, so both the teams need to make sure that they. Keep those players alive or they will be losing all of their units just from the get-go. Uh, Slavs quickly setting up again on the tower. They are not pushing any of the other towers. They just want to use this one. Uh, let's see what they've got left. Um, uh, one Tertio is going in. Some Berserkers from Slavs side. Another Shenji getting picked up. Uh, shields and on the Blame Elias side I'm seeing a few Reapers at least. Uh, that is something that the Slavs doesn't have. The Reapers still really strong in the meta currently. So we'll see if uh, yes. that makes a difference here. And Slavs trying with a with a sneaky berserker tactics, four berserkers, yep, exactly. and then some support units, two range units, two modals as yep. support and one shield. But where else? Elias is going more the, the traditional way: palace guards, uh, old man, imp shields, pikes, forty. Mm -hmm. It's a mix of everything. Yeah, and just really quickly, I want to emphasize how smart this is from Blame Elias. They're just allowing the one tower to get in, and this allows them to get in from three angles at all times, and also having the gunners at the back with Bravo. This means that Slavs can only use a trap at one location, like they're doing right here on the A point, but they need to watch all of the flanks, and this means that Blame Elias are actually getting all of the advantages here in terms of when and where to fight. Alright, Slavs are going to push the left side. Let's see if the right side can actually quickly push in as well. Yeah, they saw that there are just four heroes on the left side, so yeah. Elias, the rest of the team needs to help them fast now. Exactly. Needs to counter that push from the back then. Yeah, the right side is getting pushed pretty hard, I think. The left side is winning with the pike advance, but the right side is being cleared very hard from Slavs. The trap was in far away into the back, and the changes are getting picked up quickly. Uh, Slavs need to turn right now, at least they're not getting flanked anymore, but this is going to be work out for them. And they also need to watch out for the trap, because now they're on a very specific location where they can get trapped easily. And all, all the units, and we see, it. oh, the trap misses. Oh yeah, the trap is missing so much, this is insane, almost all shots have missed actually. And this means I think two shots, two shots hit out of the rest. Yeah. Uh, they didn't see many and that's for there. such a good spot. They could have killed nearly half the team of Elias there. Exactly, and this means that uh, Blame Elias is going to walk away with almost a 240 unit lead. And if you look at the unit skill, that's over 250. So, yeah. looks like this might be it. Blame Elias actually holding the A point. I mean, it's only a couple of seconds, but we gotta find out what Slavs yeah, have got Slavs, left. Slavs already lost three players in total. So they're then down to 12 players only mm -hmm. on the field. 
where the Elias still has 15 players on the field and yeah. they're watching out for the ones with two deaths. Yeah, exactly. That they retreat right. fast. Exactly right. And if we look at the guy shooting there, uh, let's see what the troop kills are. Blood Story doing really well here with 118. Um, and you can see on the slot side that the guys are not getting above the 60 unit kills. Only Poyap with 58 unit kills actually getting some kills in, but most of them around the We have blame, blame Zob with 70 unit kills. That's mm. the highest one on their side. Yep. But here's Slavs forming for another push. I Maybe they try. They want to get A, or they need to get A also. Otherwise, the game is lost immediately. Yeah, this feels a bit unfortunate for them. They're going to have to do the same thing, but not with that many good units left anymore. They, they were seeing some Modal and also a Shenji still in there and a the Tertio. Let's see if they can protect those units. They're going to really need it. And they're pushing into they the right side. Push, they need to push fast as Elias yeah. is not set up currently. Exactly. They and could go through it, and if they kept A. And they, we need to see those traps coming in right now. It might be too late. Palace guards coming in from the left. Gray guards from the front. Charging through the waiting calf. Yeah. Deja vu is getting all the units downstairs. Yep, that is a clean up here. Getting off the resupplies. Yep. And getting all the units to trying to jump downstairs. Exactly. Only 30 seconds left. There is no way for Slavs anymore to get onto the point. We can see a lot of the calf being used actually. and. You wonder even, why would they even bring the calf now from Lame Elias' side? They were totally baiting themselves, but looks like they don't even need it. Slavs having the calf out, but this is another sally out from Lame Elias. They are going to finish this game just the way they started it, outside of the city. Uh, as they retake all of their land here. Uh, and they're looking to go for the game one victory here against Slavs and Dassault Fort. Very impressive game. Yeah. Very impressive GG to Elias on this first round. Mm -hmm. But let's see how they defend their city, how they attack their city. Yeah, exactly. I'm very curious now to see what they have, will come up with and if Slavs also have something clever to uh, to show for us. Um, but let's take a look at the team sets first. Uh, Blame Sub, like you said, actually getting the most unit kills from Slavs side with 75. Good job for him. Uh, he was also getting quite a bit of hero damage, unit damage there. Uh, but most and more importantly, on the Blame Elias side, Missak with the MVP, 5 hero kills, that really matters, especially with the CBL rules right now. 77 unit kills, but Blood Story with 123 unit kills, uh, getting another really strong show in here. Uh, as we can see that Blame Elias hasn't lo hadn't lost any uh, hero to the 3 death rules, but there were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 guys from Slavs uh, being killed 3 times or more at the end. Uh, going through the post battle anal analysis, uh, we can see that all fights were actually in favor of Blame Elias uh, from the get go, especially the first fight, but the second and third fight just as well. So, um, Slavs are gonna bring something really clever to the game in their game 